In this section, we'll be looking at how to transpose arrays. The transpose operation reverses the order of an array. In the case of a 2D array, it will switch the rows to columns and vice versa. In a multidimensional array, the transpose operation moves the data from one axis to one another in the order that is specified in the transpose function. So let's work through this in the form of a 2D array first and then in the form of a 3D array. In this case, I've created a dummy array with three elements and I have reshaped them in the form of 5 by 10 array. You can see that array over here. Uh, let's see how the transpose function works in this case. Since there are only two dimensions, there is only one way of reordering this array. That is to convert the rows into columns and the columns into rows. So what this will do is, it will convert all of the elements in one row to a column in the resulting array. And all the elements in the column in the original array to the row in the resulting array, so on and so forth. So as we can see, all of the elements in the columns have been converted into rows in the resulting array. As we can now see, the shape has also been transferred from 5 by 10 to 10 by 5. Let's see how this works in the case of a 3D array. In this case, I've taken 90 elements and I've again reshaped them in the form of a 3 by 5 by 6 array. So this is given over here. What this means is that now we now have three batches and each batch has a 5 by 6 array. Before we move on, let's see what axis means. So when I say that the axis is zero, it basically means the shape zero which are the number of batches in this case. When I say one, it basically means the first shape of your array, which is the number of rows. And when I say two, it basically means the second shape of your array, which is six over here, which is the number of columns. So when I just use np.transpose function on this array, what it does is it shifts the zeroth axis to the second axis and vice versa. However, the first axis remains as it is. So what we are going to do over here is we are going to go column wise in each of the rows, in each of the batches, and that would create a new batch in the resulting array. So what do I mean by this? We'll go 0, 30, and 60, and that will give us the new row in the resulting array. Then we would take 6, 36, and 66, 12, 42, and 72, 18, 48, 78, and 24, 54, and 84. And this will create the new batch in the resulting array. So what will happen when we are done with the first column? we need to shift to the new row, uh, to the next column, sorry. And we need to take all the elements in the next column and that would create a new batch in the resulting array. So what do I mean is, we'll go from, we'll take one, 31, 61, seven, 37, 67, everything up to 25, 55 and 85. And that would create the new batch in the resulting array, so on and so forth. Let's look at some more examples to get, to get this sorted out. What if we just mention the axis as 0, 2, 1? What does this mean? This means that let's keep the 0th axis fixed and then we just shift the 1, 2 to 2, 1 which means you just shift the elements in the row to column and column to row. So within one batch. So the batches will remain as it is, but the column in each uh, batch will get converted into a row and each of the row in a batch will get converted into a column. So now this highlighted row will be seen as a column in the resulting array. 
Let's look at another example when we keep the axes as 1, 2, 0. What does this mean? This means that we'll take each of the row in each of the batches and then column wise, which means we'll take 0, 30, 60, 1, 31, 61. So like we'll take all of such elements and we'll create a new row out of these in the resulting array. What does this mean? We'll, the first batch will have 0, 30, and 60 as its first row. It will have 1, 1, 31, and 61 as the second row in its first batch. And when, it, when you complete one row, that will complete one batch in the resulting array. So the shape of this array will be um, 6 by 5 by 3. So we'll have 2 comma 32 comma 62, 2 comma 32 comma 62, 3 comma 33 comma 63, 4 comma 34 comma 64, and 5 comma 35 comma 65 as the first batch. Why? Because here we have taken 1 comma 2 comma 0 row wise, column wise in each of your batches. Feel free to play along. Uh, in this notebook with the transpose function and try out different things. Thank you so much.